So on our third day here in the Guadalajara area, we just arrived at the farms, the ranch of Jose Cuervo. You can see in the background, we have the blue agave. And look behind me here, the fields. We're gonna go here first and then we'll go to the distillery and we'll have a, uh, a tour over there as well. Yeah, it should be fun. Right, my name is Marco and I'm going to be your tour guide today. This field is owned by Jose Cuervo and here we're going to learn about the, the plant that we use to make tequila, the agave. In the ground you will find a lot of obsidian stone. You know that one? That black stone, very bright. So yeah, actually it's uh, from the obsidian stone where the, where the tequila, where the name of tequila comes from. The old natives used to call uh, tequil, so the stone. And tequil means stone that cuts because it's a very sharp stone. So when they founded this place, uh, the name was Tequillan, or place uh, of the stone that cuts. Place of the obsidian. That's where the name of tequila come from. Well, you know, in Mexico, there are more than 200 varieties of agave. But to produce tequila, we only need one variety. That one is called the blue agave tequilana Weber. It's this one. This agave takes from six to 10 years to mature. Ismael is going to use the machete, the long machete. Very sharp one, so please let's make some space, please. <laughs> Someone else want to try it? <laughs> okay, this is a uh, photo op time. So you get the hat, you get your foot right on there, give yourself a grimace in your face like you're working hard. Well, let's see that grimace. <laughs> The agave honey or the agave syrup is made out of these sugars. This is a fiber and you can suck it. It's a very sweet uh, taste. You don't eat it, you just suck on it and then you throw the fibers away. It's pretty good. Now we're heading through where the big vats are. This process takes 60, 60 hours. The first distillation gives us this product. This one is called Ordinary. But it's not great to drink. This one, uh, this one still contains methanol, so it's not safe. If we drink it, we can go blind. We have to take it to the second distillation to be well purified. But this one is around 55 percent of volume, very strong. We can drink it, but uh, it's not commercial yet. We cannot sell it. To be commercial, we have to dilute it with distilled water because the commercial, uh, the commercial percentage. Uh, percentage of alcohol is from 35 to 40 percent but this one is 55 and we're going to try it right here right? cheers salute Smooth. Smooth. All right. 
One more for the road. Cheers! So now we're ready to continue this thing. In the tequila industry, you will find two main categories. One of them is tequila 100% agave, as you will see on the label. 100% the agave. This one is a good one for sipping, for tasting, or to drinking straight. With this one, you won't have a hangover. That's what they say, right? <laughs> but if you like to mix your tequilas in a margarita, for example, in a cocktail, you're gonna use this other category. This one is called just tequila. In this one, you will never see the 100% on the label because it's not. This one is made with at least 51% sugars from the agave to be called tequila. The other 49% will be sugar cane or corn syrup. We divide the two categories in five classes. We have the white or silver or plata. Then we have the reposado or rested. This one stays in the barrel from two to 11 months. Then we have the añejo or aged. This one is from one to three years in barrel. And the extra aged or extra añejo is from three to maximum 10 years in the barrel. Now we're gonna try uh, taste testing right from the barrel. Yeah, this one is like a, the, the brand traditional, or traditional. I think this is what every basement needs, three barrels like this. <laughs> oh yeah. In your home. You have to have it in your basement. We're heading down to the cellar where they keep their best tequila. And of course, we're gonna do some taste testing. It's getting cooler. So definitely when you come to Guadalajara, take the day and come on over and check out the town of Tequila. Okay, so I guess you're not supposed to touch them. Well, we did. <laughs> but that's because the guy did, so he encouraged us. 